The clue sheet is very simple. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll have a checkered sheet of paper. Along the top are the colored icons representing the other players of the match. Each grid is divided by sections. The first section is the six suspects, the middle section is the six weapons, and the final section are the nine rooms. The game starts off with nothing filled out on the clue sheet except the three cards in my possession. So in this example, I have the study, the hall, and the lead pipe. The rest of the board is empty. Slowly over time, the clue sheet will get filled in. One way is the game will fill in the clue sheet automatically for me as suggestions are made and players reveal cards that they do or do not have in these different categories. The other way to fill out the clue sheet is by filling it out yourself, by tracking what other players suggest and who shows them a card after each suggestion. This will help you win by process of elimination. I recommend using number icons such as the numbers 1 through 7 to determine what cards may have been shown after a suggestion is made. In this example, white showed mustard either the plum card, wrench, or kitchen, and I marked it as one. In the next example, mustard showed peacock either the character green, candlestick, or ballroom. I marked it as two in the column for ballroom because it's the second time that mustard has shown the card, which may or may not be the ballroom card, but only a one in the column for green or candlestick because there was no previous time that he's shown one of these cards to another player. In the third example, Green showed Mustard a card. However, from previous notes that are already on the clue sheet, I know he can't be Mustard and he can't be Kitchen because both of those squares already have X's in it for Green's column. So by default, he has to have the rope card. So I will use the green check mark in that box since I know he has that card. In this final example, White accuses White with the candlestick in the ballroom. Plum, Peacock, and I do not have any of those three cards, and now the entire row on the clue sheet under Candlestick has X's. That means Candlestick is definitely the weapon. When making future suggestions, I'll be sure to use Candlestick since I know that that's already the weapon and I don't need to waste my time suggesting any other weapon card. I need to focus on learning the suspect and learning the room. Check out part four where I discuss how to win the game and final strategies.